So, um, can you let everyone on my channel, Active Women Series, know just your name and kind of your, your background? Yes, well hello and first greetings, Active Women Series. My name is Shiva Five, and I'm from Houston, Texas. Well, I appreciate you coming on, uh, you know, and doing the interview. Can you kind of give them an idea of your, you know, your, your background as far as your dating background or your marital status or, you know, how are you doing in that area? <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, how am I doing in that area? We want to talk to these women. How am I doing in that area? I think I'm doing okay in yeah. that area. Yes. Um, I'm in a relationship. Okay. You know. So. Is that a committed or is it kind of, is it a committed relationship? It's a committed relationship. Okay. And how is that working out? It's You're not having no problems? Are y'all having some issues? What are some challenges y'all run into? Huh. Let's see. What are some challenges we run into? You know, there's nothing that really comes to my head immediately, to be honest with you. Okay. Uh, that's something I would really just like have to think about. But mm -hmm. what I can tell you is that right now with where we are within mm -hmm. ourselves and each other, we're in a really good place. Okay, well let me ask you this because I don't want to, I don't want, I want these women to get some details about this so they can learn. Uh, Where did you meet this person at? Did you meet them online? A lot of women have to meet people online nowadays. Can okay, you? so actually this person, yes, I did actually meet him online three, almost three, a little over three years ago. Did he kind of use the friend zone to get close to you or what, he, what did he use to get close to you? We met on a dating app, actually. Okay. So he he asked, he asked you on a formal date? He asked me on a formal date. Well, talk to him. Tell these women about where he, he invited you and stuff. <laughs> Tell them some. These women want to know some of the details of your first date. Okay. So um, we uh, started conversing, communicating. Um, he had initially wanted to take me out, but it didn't really work with my time frame. So... Ultimately, he reached out again. It still really did work for me. And so I hadn't heard from him after that. And I was just like, you know, maybe he moved on. That's cool. Da, 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 da. So he did end up messaging me about like two weeks later. Okay, now hold on. Now, wait a minute. I don't mean to interrupt you. But now, wait a minute. Most women don't put up with that. If he's going to text back two weeks later, that sounds a little bit pausing. Didn't you have any concerns? Because a lot of women don't even fool with somebody. They call them two weeks later. Okay, No. Maybe I misspoke. So initially, he was asking me out. He asked me out twice, and both the times they didn't. You had work a schedule conflict. Yes. So after the second time, I hadn't heard from him, and had been about I would say two, three weeks, under three, mm -hmm. about two weeks or so. And um, you know, when he messaged me, I was like, oh, you know, it's good to to hear from you, and. Uh, we just officially went on a date, so... So you one of those type of women, you ain't gonna call for nothing. She, he got to call you, is that what it is? Like, he, you wait three weeks, he finally messaged you. But you were just kind of curious, or you are you one of those type of women, like, to the casket drop, you not gonna call a text, they better come on? Okay, so in that regard, yes, because we did not know each other. Okay. He's a man, I'm a one man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So men are the chasers, women are the receivers. So mm -hmm. of, of course, uh, which okay. is why when he did reach back out to me and I was available, I responded. Where did he want to try to take you on your first date? So we went to um, Sambuca. Did he? Was that your choice? It actually it was mm -hmm. because at the time he lived um, in, in a, okay. a high rise that was kind of like connected to. Okay. It's on the same strip as Sambuca. Mm -hmm. And I um, wanted to go to that place. They have a live band there, really good cocktail. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I, uh, yeah, so we started there, and uh, it was really great. After that, we went to a comedy show. Well, hold on now. Did he let you order around that menu or what? Did he let Did me? He, yeah, did he say, go and order whatever you want? Of course. The sky is the limit? That's right. Not well, even. that's not how it works on every date now. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. These women watching, they don't get that type of treatment every time. Some women get budgets on a first date. Sounds like you just had a full spread. 
Did he give you a full spread? Yeah. Cocktails. Right. What kind of food? What kind of food did you? You ordered a platter or what? Actually, I really don't recall. But he, he was the sky was the limit. Price no problem. Correct. Okay. Why would you ask a woman on a date if you can't afford it? I understand. No, let these no women I'm serious. I'm this. This is a serious question. I know this. You're interviewing me, yeah. but why would a man ask a woman on a date if he's not fully prepared and seeing that woman? Sometimes you you know there's like different gauges, mm -hmm. different brackets, different class, different whatever you would, would like to call it. Mm -hmm. So you know maybe some men or young men may approach a woman that he can look at her and say, okay, I can afford her. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And if you see something that you really can't afford, you're either going to save up for it, which some, some people do, some mm -hmm. men do, or you're going to go what you can afford. And it may not be really what you desire, but it's all you can afford. Yeah, but with him, he was he was able to, to take you over to Sambuca and in wine and dining. That's what they call that. They call that wine and dining. Okay. So you got wine and dining? I got wine and dining. Okay. Now where do you want to go afterwards? And so while we're in the middle of our date, we were having such a wonderful time. Um, we decided to, you know, he actually looked up some comedy um, that was going on. And there was a comedy show that was like three hours later. And um, so I'm like, yeah, that sounds great. So mm -hmm. we did the comedy and uh, that was really so. Good. He extended the date. Yes, yes. He took it to some extra innings. Correct. And you went with that just based off the initial date was was really nice. That's right. That's right. And I love to laugh. Who doesn't mm. love to laugh? Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So, so how did he end it? Did you?